And I think friendship is you get what you give. You get what you give. And if you are there for people, you're going to feel so good about having done that. And then the 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 reciprocation effect, which you'd probably know very well, is so great in the world that anytime you're kind to people, you build this incredible bond. And then what what are we at the end of the day, Lex, besides a series of memories with the people we love? That's all it is. It's just a series of memories and moments. It's just moments. Yeah. You ever see Blade Runner? Yes, of course. Do you remember what Rucker Harris says at the end? All of these memories gone, like mm -hmm. tears in the rain. Yeah. I mean, that's our existence. It just all goes away at some point. It's just these drops of rain. Each each of those memories, just like one snowflake or one drop of rain, and they're all lost at some point, but they're here now. And that's why we have to be there for each other. That's why I feel like what I do is so important in this world, and I get such great meaning out of it, just being a friend, just having these conversations. Mm -hmm. What you're doing on your podcast, just talking to intelligent people and spreading the word and the disciple, uh, the gospel of what they're saying and amplifying it, you're inspiring so many people. Every podcast, you get 500,000 people, a million people watch these videos, and there's some kid in Sri Lanka or some little girl in Afghanistan who's gonna stumble upon this on YouTube, and they're gonna change the world in the next century. Yes. Because it's not just about America. Like, we, our story is almost over, right? Like we we were the story of the last two or three hundred years. I hope it keeps going. But there's all these other places in the world, San Paulo and and Africa, where people now have access to these videos. Mm -hmm. And somebody will have this video and go, Elon did it. Oh, and that guy Jason was his friend. And oh, and and Lex does those interviews with the oh yeah, I could do it too. Your little magical moment of love amidst the suffering with Elon. Because you've talked about it, it'll have these ripple effects. It's mm -hmm. fascinating to think about in so decades weird. to come, yeah. in new entrepreneurs being born, new, yeah. more love being put out there, in uh, more support through yeah. these rough times when you're people are trying to create new things. I mean, that, yeah. that's a that's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful. I I'm yeah. glad you think of friendship in this way. I'm deeply uh, grateful that you're loyal. Every time you in invest, the way you are. It, Here's the thing, it costs you nothing to make this investment either. The The amount of time it takes to be bitter or angry, right. uh, sitting at home, uh, to be disappointed, you, you could just channel that same amount of energy into being loyal, loving, kind, and there for people. It just only takes the intention, right? The water is gonna, those emotions are gonna flow, mm -hmm. right? Like Sam would always tell me when I was struggling in my life, uh, and I talked to him, he'd say, you know, Jason, your brain is spewing all these ideas. Imagine you're standing, sitting by a river and the river is all your ideas. You are not a slave to any one of these ideas. They're just whipping by like each of those little waves in the river. You can pick one of those ideas out and look at it and examine it and either keep it or mm -hmm. throw it back in the river and let it go. And I was like, wow, Sam, that, that was like, <laughs> of my entire friendship with Sam Harris, that was like the one moment where I was just like, oh my God. All my life, I've wondered about all these thoughts in my head, yeah. insecurities, you know, imposter syndrome. Yeah. Like I didn't go to MIT, yeah. you know, I, I'm not the smartest guy, but somehow I made a career writing little 50K checks and now, you know, $3 million checks, but whatever, you know, little checks and yeah. being a journalist and doing this little podcast and it's added, it's added up to something. Yeah. And I kind of, I'm proud of it. I'm, I'm 50 and I'm kind of proud of what I did. And I, and I wake up every morning, I could retire, and I say, I kind of like what I do. I kind of like having the conversation and writing the check and then being on somebody's team. And I got offered to be in these giant mega funds. And they said, Jason, you're an idiot. You invest in 60 companies a year, you know, 500K at a time. You put $30 million a year to work. Come work with us, write one $50 million check, and then you can go to Aspen and Cabo and Coachella and not work. Why, why are you doing all this work? It's like, well, the $50 million check is like, it's like a formality. It's just like being an ATM. Like the companies are already huge by that time. Mm -hmm. I really want to meet the two people with the idea. I want to meet them in year one. Yes. I want to meet them on day zero. Yeah. I want to be the guy who wrote the first, second, or third check. Yeah. I don't want a guy who wrote the 3,000th check, the last check. It's fucking boring. And make that basic human connection and also totally. be there and be with I them mean, through the rough times, be with them with that first. Oh. I mean, the first early successes, I mean, that's a beautiful. Oh, so great. When they, when, when, 
when a founder and their team get product market fit and you just know it's going to work. Oh man, Lex, it's when, when Calm would email me and they'd say, we added, you know, the company's been growing and we're not going to go out of business, but we added some sleep stuff. And then we added this other f- function and uh, we have a streak now and uh, we grew 10X in the last, you know, three months and uh, we're good. You know, I was like, ah, oh, that's nice. It's real <laughs> nice. It's like, it's a nice feeling when you, yeah. well, because so many of them die. We talked about that J curve yeah. early. Imagine it's like, um, it's like all these baby turtles going out to the ocean yeah. and the seagulls are ripping them to shreds and then their <laughs> sharks are eating them. But then like a couple of the turtles make it and they become wise old hundred year old turtles. Yeah. You know? And you're like, yep. I remember when you catched and like all of your brothers and sisters were ripped to shreds by the seagulls and you made it into the water and then you made it out to the deep water. It's I, a pretty great feeling. I Have think there's no uh, better way to end it. <laughs> there it than, is. <laughs> than the talk of the cruelty of life, the suffering that is life, it is. and the love amidst the suffering. Jason, Absolutely. I've been a fan of yours for a long oh. time. You're one of the most special people in Silicon Valley. Thanks, Lex. And maybe you'll also call me in one of the rough times. Oh, yeah. I'm sure there'll be many. There will be, yeah. You know, you, there's one expression, nobody gets there alone. Yeah. Nobody gets there alone. And anybody who thinks that they got there alone is delusional and kidding themselves. And they will at some point wake up and realize, oh shit, there were a lot of people who helped me get here. I need to write a couple of gratitude letters. I got a gratitude letter the other day from a friend of mine who I helped. And I was one of the, you know know about these gratitude letters people are writing? Mm. It turns out Martin Seligman in, um, uh, was it Authentic Happiness? Anyway, the guy who really studied happiness and joy, turns out, one of the greatest amplifiers of joy in your life is to thank somebody for doing something for you. <laughs> and somebody who I had helped just wrote me a letter. And I got in Christmas and I had the stack of Christmas cards and I hadn't opened them. Yeah. And it's the second week of January and I was just getting to like the last stack. And I opened it up and I almost missed it. This is an incredibly heartwarming letter about how meaningful like certain things I had done to wow. help along the way and how he'd always, always appreciated my counsel. And I was just like, well, this happened 25 years ago. And you wrote this letter now. And it just hit me like a ton of bricks. And I was just like, wow, you know, if you're hearing this, there's probably 10 people who are really instrumental in your lives, in your lives. Go ahead and call them on the phone, write them an email, or even better, just write a letter and send it to them and just tell them you're thankful. And let me tell you something. The amplification of joy in your life will go 100x, 100x when you tell somebody you love them and that you really appreciate them and that what they did for you was magical. So just, then you can look it up, gratitude. Gratitude is like one of these incredible forces. Amen. I'm grateful Jason, for being on the pod. I'm grateful. <laughs> you wasted all this time with me. I love it. <laughs>